Hey guys, I moved my camera to a different spot to do the rest of this video. Um, it was getting hot in that bathroom and the lights, mm -mm. So um, this isn't my room either because my room has really bad lighting, but I moved it. So I'm going to start the video. Let's get started. So anyway, first thing, first item I'm talking about is, which I just talked about a little bit, is the Daniel plan. Um, I'm tracking what I eat by using this. Also, I'm tracking what I eat by using the My Fitness Pal, which either or will work. Um, I tend to forget this more than the My Fitness Pal because I always have my phone in my hand and sometimes I don't have this in my hand. So, um, that's pretty much what I've been doing to track the food. Um, foods I've been eating, like a general um, meal every day, it'd be in the morning egg whites with um, those thin Thomas Weight Watcher bagels. Um, you can get a whole wheat bagel. I use the really thin ones because I really like bagels, but I didn't want to give bagels up completely. So this is like a, uh, it was a healthy alternative. Um, another thing I would have is um, the Weight Control Oatmeal by Quaker um, and banana bread. I, I would eat that with a piece of fruit in it or something like that. Um, lunch, I would either eat a salad, a wrap, that I'm gonna make some type of wrap um, chicken with a vegetable or something else a turkey burger with no um, bread and like a side a couple sides or whatever um, for dinner usually chicken breast or um, uh, shrimp with um, brown rice on a carb day because I don't eat carbs all the time. Um, my carb days are the days that I work out um, where I can afford to eat a carb because I'm burning more carbs than I'm intaking. Um, what else? Snacks would be consisting of fruit or, I tell I basically eat for a snack, fruit or a yogurt or a vegetable. Like I like eating, um, sweet peppers with ranch which ranch isn't good for you but that's the only way i could eat the sweet peppers and i'm not dumping it in ranch i'm just putting a little bit on for taste so um if you want any uh, meal plans or um healthy breakfast ideas healthy lunch ideas i'll do that for you guys um no problem you know i'll put something together just comment below and let me know um another thing that's helped me out is the hungry girl diet book because there's a lot of good ideas in here one of them that i will be making is these like baked uh chicken nuggets kind of things and and i'm all about fried foods so that's why i'm i've gained all this weight too not just to blame the polycystic ovarian that i have you know on all the weight it's the foods i was eating too and i loved fried foods so loving fried foods and being overweight they coincide so if i can find an alternative like the baked chicken nuggets or in you know the breading will be like panko breadcrumbs where it tastes crunchy but it's not fried you know what i mean like like that kind of thing um uh what else has helped me I'm going to be taking supplements, which I'm going to talk about next week um, because I haven't started them yet and I want to go to the doctor first to get to get their approval because I am um, insulin deficient and I'm borderline diabetic. So yeah, I didn't want to take them without asking. And you shouldn't take supplements without asking your doctor. Um, in general, so, um, that's, hopefully that'll help me out if I'm allowed to take it, um, and the, the fitness is what really helps me out. When I was smaller, insert picture right here, when I was smaller, um, 
I ate whatever I wanted. I didn't have a diet. I ate a lot of salad though, but not because I was trying to be skinny. I liked salad a lot. And then when I got older, I just stopped eating salads because I guess I got tired of them. I don't know. My favorite food was Caesar salad. Yes. Um, like if you love Caesar salad. Um, like below. But anyway, um, yeah, so I, my weight was healthy because not only was I eating more salads, but I worked out a ton when I think about it. Like, I didn't go to the gym, but I did sports. I did cheerleading, which if you don't think cheerleading is sports, fine, doesn't matter. Cheerleading, dance, um, softball. Like, I was active and being active. And you had gym class in high school. So being active really helped me because I could have been overweight in high school as well. Um, but because I was active, that helped me. So doing Taibo is, like, the best thing ever because it's helping me. I can already tell that it's helping me. Um... I've lost one pound. It's not that serious. This is my start weight. This is my goal weight. And I'm tall, so like, a lot of people are like, oh my gosh, you weigh that much? You don't even look like you weigh that much. Like, I'm tall. I'm 5'8", so in my frame, the way that I, my frame is, it all goes in my stomach. So, that's just why. Um... I didn't say my weight out loud because I really don't like talking about my weight. This is like the hardest thing for me to do is say my weight out loud in front of the whole world. So hopefully when I lose the weight, I'll, I'll be able to say what I was and what I am now. So And say it proudly because it's just really depressing because from going from being kind of, you know, small, like I, I would say I was medium. <laughs> From being fit to being like this is really hard so um yeah but anyway um other than that that's what i've been doing um you know i hopefully by by the time six months goes by i can say i was so happy that i did these videos and they weren't in vain and they weren't you know, for no reason because I'm not going to stop and continue to try to strive to do better. If I do have a rough day and I didn't eat as well as I wanted to, I'm not going to stress out about it. Um, as the ladies will know, when it's that time of month, you want to eat everything and everything, especially chocolate and carbs. And that's how I am right now. I've been breaking out and I've been eating and just... Um, not eating unhealthy per se, but I would feel like... I have these cravings where I'm like oh just a little bit of this just a little bit of this you know and I don't want it to get out of control um but I have lost a pound so far this week um so that's good and I hope that next week is even more weight so I'm gonna try to go to the gym on my off days I want to try to go to the gym at least five times a week um if not four a week that's my goal um and I go to the gym work do something that involves fitness at least four to five times a week so the cybo is three times a week that's a given because i already pay for it i'm going <laughs> but like tuesday thursday friday saturday sunday what am i doing if anything am i doing am i doing anything and that's that's what i mean um so yeah this has been um interesting this week but next week i hope it's even more interesting thank you guys for tuning in and um Please tune in again and like, comment, subscribe. I'd like to hear from you guys on what you feel um, regarding um, the weight loss and um, my approach to eating the carbs on the days that I'm working out. And I mean healthy carbs like brown rice, wheat, bread, um, wheat wraps, whole wheat wraps. Um, and then on the days that I'm not working out, I'm going to be eating, you know, lean protein vegetables and fruit and essentially no carbs so um yeah i'd like to hear from you guys but thanks for watching and i'll talk to you soon